is the 14th, I think, of April. It's a Sunday. It's about 1 o'clock. It's in the low to mid 60s. Mom and I are here at Kishwaukee River Forest Preserve. We've parked up here by the trailhead for the um, Kishwaukee Recreational Path. We're just going to wander around in here. You see the river's up pretty high. And it's got it's flowing pretty good. Mama wants to go over to the river. Hopefully she doesn't jump in. She might. You never know with her. I actually have two maps of this park. One is by some website called kishwild.com. The other is from the Forest Preserve District. There's a big goose. Wilma's going to go visit. Wilma's already been in the river once. This trail is not shown on the Forest Preserve District map, but it's clearly here. And it is shown on the Kish Wild map. So. There's a woman over there at a picnic table. I don't know what she's doing. There's a downed tree. More geese. Looks like someone's been feeding them. There's a pile of bird food. Corn cob. More bird seed. Hmm. Natural Gas Pipeline Company of America. That must go into the river here. See the markers. Sign that says private drive. See somebody walking back there. I don't know if they own the property or it's just somebody trespassing. But that side of the gate is all private, I guess. Somewhere over here is where the trailhead is. I don't know where. Never been here before. It was not all that hard to find. It's about where it shows on the map. So we're going to go in here and walk around and come back. See some kind of a stone foundation back there. Maybe we'll go examine it. I thought that was a an old stone foundation out there from a distance, but it turns out it's just fallen trees. Here it says no trespassing. Do not block drive. So we're gonna head to the right. We came across a couple on the dog walking. So we're gonna head this way. We're kind of along the edge of the forest preserve here. Gravel road along the south edge of the forest preserve here, just on the other side of the property line. We're continuing to head west. I don't know who Granville Coburn was, but apparently he was the superintendent. I don't think they have a superintendent anymore. Well, we're we walked along the south edge to the western edge of the park. Now we're going to turn and go east along this north patch of it, or this patch of it, along the north side of this little patch, I guess. I'm pretty sure we're on the path that's on the Kish, Wap, or Kish Wild map. That's uh, not shown on the Park District or the Forest Reserve District map. Because we're right along the border. Now we were there along the property line. I think this is one of the trails that's actually shown on the Forest Reserve District map. This just kind of merges together, I think. Not really sure. Hard to tell with their maps. We've emerged at the other end of the trail. This is the other side of the... There's the guys we saw on the trail. They, uh, with the dog. <coughs> the, uh, other side of the trailhead is back about, I don't know, 100 feet behind those two cars. We're gonna go walking. Go back to where we came from, out by the front gate. And I think we're gonna go across the street, or across the river, rather. Walk over there for a while. If I'm looking at the Kish Wild map, it looks like you can take that drive all the way down to where the, oops, I don't know if you can see.
see it there in the distance behind the picnic table. Looks like you can take that drive down to the edge of the forest preserve and then turn to the west. And that's where we ended up. Where I think that gate was that we saw. It said private or whatever. And according to the Kish Wild map, there's another short trail that goes over here along behind the uh, shelter house over there. Ah, we're not going to go that way. There's a birdhouse on the high above the river here. Oh, uh, Creaky's going to get herself a good drink. Water's moving pretty good. There's some people over there fishing. Creaky getting nice and wet. River again. I don't know if she's just playing. Or, I guess she's going to get another drink. Oh, maybe not. Who knows with the beagle. We dug out this ledge here. There's a lot of this kind of rock that's being used on the uh, bank of the river to keep the bank from eroding. So I guess this is where it came from. It doesn't appear to be a natural formation, but it appears like it's been a long time since they blasted it. I don't even see any of the telltale little holes they drill when they blast. We're back near the front entrance where I parked. The Jeep is behind that turquoise minivan there. We're going to walk up and uh, catch the bridge across the river. Two things say gas. Yeah. Black Hawk Road, well, Mustang. It's the bike bridge that goes across the river. The bike trail continues on the other side. You can see the trail also loops under the bridge. It goes to that side of the bridge, which is Black Hawk Springs Forest Preserve. Home and I've walked in there a couple times. This is the river looking downstream at Black Hawk Road. It's upstream. I don't know if you can see the bike path over there to the left. It's under those trees and kind of behind on the left side of the bank. The bike path comes over to the east side of the river. Mulford Road is just over the top of that hill there. And uh, I'm not sure. I think there's another trail in here along the river on this side. I'll have to look. This is the old stone stair shown on the Kish Wild map. It sh their map shows a trail going along here. And all I see is some grass, so I guess it is sort of a trail, but not really. And a neat old uh, stone stairway. I don't think I really want to go up there, but still kind of neat. Looking at the map, it may be that the stone steps actually take you up to the trail that's along this ridge. It's about where it looks like it is on the Kish Wild map. I ain't gonna go up there. <laughs> it's too much work. We're just gonna walk along the road. I see a fence up there. What well, might be an old bench. So I'd be willing to bet there is a, an old trail up there along that ridge. But we're not going to go up there. Too much work. I have an unusual outhouse. Never seen one that looks like this before. At least not in the Forest Preserve District. This is the dirt trail. It's labeled Maintenance Trail on the map. It looks like they occasionally drive on it. I don't know why. This is easy to drive up over the road to get into the Forest Preserve. I see a fence over there that has a boundary sign on it, and the fence over here, that's a boundary sign. So, I'm guessing it's... 
We follow the uh, maintenance trail to where it stops here. It goes to the east up there where I can see a building which is probably what they call maintenance building. There's probably nothing interesting up here. This way it's more interesting. The river is over here. picnic table over there. I don't see any easy way to get across the creek. It doesn't look to be real deep. But banks aren't all that easy to get up. We made it. There's an easy place to get across that little creek. This is where the river turns to the west. According to the Kish Wild map, this is, on this side, is Rockford Rotary, but the Forest Reserve District map calls it part of Kishwaukee. I don't think it really matters. There's a picnic table over there. There's some kind of a access trail of some sort. I can hear some traffic up there. Now the picnic table is stamped WCFP. Looks like there is sort of a trail that goes along the south side of the river. I don't know if it's a real trail or what. Seems to have scared up a few geese. Back side of this is blank, so I'm guessing that it's just like those over there on the other side and how it's fallen down. A lot of these little gullies here that we can kind of pick our way through, but there is almost a path along the river bank, like I had heard. You'll see. The boundary line. You can see the sign. About, I think, about a hundred yards downstream, farther to the west, is Rockford Rotary Forest Preserve. But there's a little chunk of private property right along the river between the two. I don't know. We might walk up this way. Depends on how hard it is. Someone got it. There's some kind of a trail here. I haven't seen any boundary signs. So this may or may not be the edge of the forest preserve. I see a field out there, so it may be. It's hard to tell. Is a fence line and I can see what looked to be Forest Reserve District boundaries. I don't know if you can see a guy in an orange shirt over there. We passed him. He's running in here. He said he'd never been in here before either. But I think this little access road or whatever it is goes up and it goes along the west edge of the property out to the road. At least that's what I had heard once. And this, I think, goes over to the, I'm not sure where it goes, we'll find out. Over there to the east is Mulford Road. To the south, I think, is Baxter, no, it's Rotary. There's a hill, there's a house over there. Some sort, I don't know, it might be that Buddhist temple, it has that odd look to it. Uh, there's Wilma running down the hill. There's where the river turns. I think that little creek is there. A little gully. It's got a thing across it. There's the guy in the orange shirt jogging. I think he came this way. We're gonna go back over on the river where that green path is. So we came in. Went down in the creek again. So there's that picnic table we saw. Almost getting her fill. That goes up that way, and 
and there's a bit of a uh, there's like a culvert that you can walk over so you don't have to cross the creek. The uh, runner said that that little path, that access road does go all the way out to Rotary Road. So thought I had heard that at one time. Oops. Ah, that wasn't the brightest move. I had my hand on the Well, we're back along the river. Wilma went in this creek. The runner came by again. He said that they... Oh, there's Wilma going back in the creek, I think. Oh, maybe not. He said that that access road does go all the way out to Rotary Road, I guess. Oh, we're going to walk back. We're probably, I don't know, a mile and a half away from the car, maybe. This is the road, or the path we came in on. Maintenance trailhead starts there. This is we're back up to the north, more or less north end of the park on the east side. Here's the west side where we were before. Our umpteenth trip into the river. Looks like you can walk around here for a while anyway. Decided to roll and scratch. There's the parking lot where we parked over there across the bridge, or across the river. Or, there's the stone steps. We're almost back to the bike path where the bridge is. I'm gonna rest for a few minutes. Back on the west side of the river, just to go on the bridge. People walking. There's a scooter coming off of there. Coming up this way, you know? I don't know. 